Hi, my name is John Richards. Uh, you just keyed in how to do a morning routine. I tell you, this is one of my fa most favorite subjects. I've been doing morning routines now for about three years. Totally life changing. So this is definitely a good thing for you to do. You know, the first thing I do, I believe in modeling people. And uh, I read a really good book called The Morning Miracle by Hal Elrod. And that's kind of what I started my morning routine from. You know, that was the starting point. So I did that. I read that book. And then I created a plan for my morning routine. You want to have a plan. You want to know exactly what you're going to do. You don't want to get up in the morning and say, okay, I think I'll do this and I'll do this and I'll do this. There's no rhyme or reason and it's not really getting you the result you're wanting from a, uh, from a morning routine. So uh, what I do is I get up at 3.30 in the morning because I want to make sure that I get up early enough to where I got plenty of time to take my time and make this morning routine something that really gets me the results I'm wanting in life. So as soon as I get up at 3.30, and I do this seven days a week, I don't change on the weekends because, you know, consistency, you know, is, is the key to this. So uh, the first thing I do is I go into the bathroom, I brush my teeth, I wet my hair, and I get my gym clothes on, okay? Then I usually go into the kitchen, and, you know, I usually fill up a water bottle every night, and, uh, you know, I, I get my water bottle out, I take my morning supplements, uh, and I drink some water. I make sure I drink plenty of water because, you know, you've been all night without any, you know, without any hydration, so... You want to make sure you drink some water. Soon as that happens, the very first thing I do, and I think this is important, it, you need to always do this first, is meditation. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you meditate, and on a future video, I'll actually show you exactly what I do. And I've been meditating for years. It's, you know, this is one of the best things I do. It, it'll get rid of anxiety, and it'll make your day slow down. You know, so meditation is really important. What I do is I, I sit down and meditate for 20 minutes. As soon as I meditate... I visualize my top three goals, and I usually have three goals for the year, and then I have three, you know, I back those off, and I have three goals for the, you know, for the, uh, uh, for the quarter, three goals for the month and the week. You know, so sometimes I'll visualize my long-term goals, sometimes I'll visualize my short-term goals. But one of the keys to visualizing goals that I think is you also visualize the process of getting to those goals. You know, so that's, I do that every single morning. And then the next thing I do is I give thanks to the Lord. I make sure I pray. You know, these are all things that will create a mindset for you. And that's why I do all these things, okay? And as soon as I pray, then I read my affirmations. Now, affirmations are, are statements that support your goals. I say those out loud. Yes, at 3.30 in the morning, I say those out loud. Uh, you know, my wife maybe sometimes thinks I'm a nut. Uh, but I do that because I want to make sure that I connect some emotion to that, okay? Then I read 30 minutes every single morning. Um, you know, I make sure I read out of a good book. Usually for me, it's personal development. Uh, I've read a lot of good books this way. Uh, this year, I've actually increased that to one hour. So that's why I get up at 3.30. I used to get up at 4. Uh, but I want to try to read a book a week. And then I, the key to reading books, though, is not just reading them. Uh, you know, you should implement them. So I don't, you know, when I say a book a week, I don't mean 52 books for the year. A lot of times I'll read books over and over and over again so I can implement them. Um, you know, you know, the biggest key to a morning routine that I can tell you is being consistent and continue to build on it. You know, I've just recently added gratitude journaling in there. So I, I, you know, at the end of that, I make sure I write down five things I'm grateful for. And that's usually different every single day. I don't want, I want to expand my mind, you know, so I try to think of things, you know, it may, it may be something small, maybe the weather, you know, maybe the way the roads are today, whatever, maybe, you know, whatever. Uh, that I'm really grateful for, and that gives you uh, that gives you a feeling of abundance. It's very, very, very important. And then I do a goal calibration, and what that is is um, I basically review my one-year goals, I be, review my quarterly goals, my weekly goals, and then I I make sure if I haven't already planned, I plan my top three uh, uh, priorities for that day, and I block those in. I know that if I can get three real needle movers done during the day, you know I'm going to have a great day. Okay, now as soon as I get that done, then you know, pretty much I plan my plan my workout, and then I go to work out. And I try to work out at least six days a week. But I take that and I always review it and I make sure that I'm always improving it. You know, so if it does something doesn't feel comfortable to you, make it more comfortable. And a morning routine is a good place to, if there's things you're not getting to, put those in your morning routine. You know, anything that gets calendared gets achieved. Always remember that. You know, so I put things in there that I need to need to accomplish every morning. You know, so 
But this is all about getting my mind right. You know, what you know, there's a there's a there's a saying: if your thoughts create your emotions, your emotions create your actions, and your actions create your results. What a morning routine does is gives you the right thoughts, which are going to create the right emotions, which are going to create the right actions, which are going to create the right results. Instead of just getting up and running behind all day, a morning routine is going to help you with that. Now, I also work online. I don't know if you're interested in looking at something outside of what you're currently doing right now, but I got something pretty amazing. Uh, so if you want to check that out, go to, uh, go to my website. Uh, it's onlinewithjohn.com. Again, that's onlinewithjohn.com. You can just click the button below. Uh, when you get to that site, you're going to see two seven-figure earners. I'm very fortunate. I work with a lot of the top in the industry, um, and the income potential of this thing is massive. So, you know, if you're the type of person that does a morning routine, you're probably entrepreneurial, so this may be something you want to definitely take a look at. So go over there and check that out. Uh, these two seven-figure earners are going to tell you exactly what we do and how we do it. And I look forward to maybe talking to you on the other side. Have a great day.